lethal injection, electric chair hanging. Throughout history, America has grappled with how to carry out the death penalty. Is there a humane way to take a life? Have you ever pondered the evolution of execution methods in the United States? Today, we'll journey through the history of this grim topic from the earliest days of hanging to the modern method of lethal injection. In the pre-revolutionary era, hanging was the most common method of execution. The condemned would be placed on a gallows, a noose around their neck. The aim was a swift neck fracture and immediate unconsciousness, but it was a method fraught with potential for gruesome mishaps, such as slow strangulation or even decapitation. Fast forward to 1982, when the United States introduced a new method, lethal injection. This technique involves a three-drug cocktail designed to anesthetize, paralyze, and ultimately stop the heart. Lethal injection quickly became the predominant method of execution, replacing the electric chair, gas chamber, and firing squad. Despite the apparent efficiency of lethal injection, recent shortages of the necessary chemicals have led some states to revisit older methods. The electric chair, lethal gas, and even firing squads are seeing a resurgence as potential alternatives. The history of execution in the United States is marked by a continuous search for the most humane method. It's a story filled with famous cases like Aileen Warnos, executed by lethal injection in 2002 for the murder of at least six men, and Gary Gilmore, executed by firing squad in 1977. Today, the death penalty landscape is changing. As of July 2021, only 27 states and the federal government authorize the death penalty, and even in these jurisdictions, executions are rare. In fact, 13 states, along with the U.S. military, have not carried out an execution in over a decade. A growing number of states have abolished capital punishment altogether, with Virginia, a state with a long history of executions, abolishing it in 2021. Public opinion on the death penalty has also shifted. A majority of U.S. adults still support the death penalty for murder convictions, but there is growing concern about its racial neutrality, effectiveness as a deterrent, and the safeguards in place to prevent the execution of innocent people. In conclusion, the history of execution methods in the United States is a complex narrative of evolving techniques, shifting public opinion, and ongoing debates about humanity and justice. From the gallows of the pre-revolutionary era, to the lethal injection chambers of today, this history reflects society's changing views on the ultimate punishment.